we received a call from someone whom we knew. And they said, okay, come to Chuele, there is a situation. So we rushed only to reach there to find a boy, a young baby, one year old, has been locked in the house by the lady who seemed to be the mother. She had disappeared. And the boy has been in the house for more than three days, crying. Family members reject their own nephews, nieces, many times uh, even grandkids just because of the overwhelming poverty and because they already have their own kids. So a lot of times these orphans are facing rejection from their own relatives and then they're just being left out on the streets, left out in their houses, no adult supervision. You find a child taking care of another child because there's nobody much caring about it, be it relatives, be it the government, they're doing very little. We would just walk into towns and just see kids, five, six, seven years old, 10, just laying on cardboard at night, trying to find a place to lay their head and eating out of dumpsters. And I couldn't believe that that become normal in their culture. Do you find that this child has to go look for firewood, come light it? If she doesn't have food, she would just boil water. And even that water is not available. She has to look for a small jerrycan, go and fetch water from very far. And the dangers are especially to either a girl child or a boy child. In darkness, they are not safe. We don't know what can happen to them. Cultic religions, they want sacrifices. And some of the rich people are taking children from the street to go and offer them a sacrifice. Some of the people are taking our children to Europe, Arab countries, to go and be killed so that they can use their paths to give life to their people. They go even raping the small girls because these girls are not protected down the street. During also the time of rain season, you find that they don't have heavy covers to cover themselves. So you find the majority are affected by the disease called malaria and pneumonia. You may find maybe two or three survive, or sometimes you find the whole family has died because of lack of a medication in their lives. The government uh, has not put any good program in place, nothing. Because if they had a program, we could not be standing here today talking about it. And I remember one day walking um, in the afternoon and God really speaking to my heart about starting an orphanage there. So that's kind of when it birthed in 2002. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I had promised them that I'd be back. We started by sharing the little food we had in our house. We started buying them uniforms where we could, and through that, God started to speak to our hearts on how we can be able to stand with them. And so, it has been our desire, not just to pray for them, not just to share with them the word of God, but also to minister to them physically in material things, in food, and also inviting some to our houses. Together with our, uh, Pastor Benjamin and Kara, we want to do something. That's why we are standing here today, that we are putting up the houses so that we can bring in the children to provide the security, to provide the meal, to educate them, and also nature their talents so that tomorrow they can afford a smile to live like any other person in the community. So we have started to build the Heaven on Earth homes. We broke ground this 2019. We got our septic tank, we got our water tower, our well. We have drilled and gotten so much water to give to the whole community. We started the houses and we have many yet to go. So we are asking if you would join our friends, our family, and our church, and you would also help us build these homes. They're going to house children. We'll be able to have over 100 children in separate homes so they feel like they're part of a family. And these children are not only gonna get their basic needs met, 
like going to school, like having clothes and, and food and all their emotional needs, they'll be able to fulfill the dreams and the calling for their lives, the purpose that they were created for. So we're super excited that we get to be a part of this, that we can change lives, that we can be part of something greater than ourselves. So would you consider doing this with us and being part of something greater than yourself? Thank you so much.